It is like every day there is a new incident of data breach happening in every corner of the world. There are several avenues by which this breach occurs. The cloud makes access simple and enables forward-thinking approaches such as remote working. Yet, this accessibility may leave the cloud vulnerable to data security breaches. Hello and welcome to VAR India News Hour. There is an increase in cloud and especially multi-cloud adoption remains on the rise. 37% of respondents from India have experienced a cloud-based data breach or failed audit in the past 12 months, up from the previous year that was 33%. A survey says multi-cloud adoption is accelerating with 72% of organizations using multiple infrastructure as a service provider versus 57% in 2021 and there are 46% of organizations in India that store 21-60% to of their sensitive data in the cloud. In 2021, organizations worldwide were using an average amount of 110 SaaS applications compared with just 8 in 2015, showcasing a startlingly rapid increase. There has been a notable expansion in the use of multiple infrastructure as a service provider, with almost three quarters or 72% of businesses globally using multiple IaaS providers, up from 57% the year before. Despite the increasing prevalence in use, Businesses share common concerns about the increasing complexity of cloud services with 40% of IT professionals from India agreeing that it is more complex to manage privacy and data protection in the cloud. Additionally, the journey to the cloud is also becoming more complex with the percentage of respondents reporting that they are expecting to lift and shift the simplest of migration tactics dropping from 55% in 2021 to 24% currently. There are growing concerns on the security challenges of multi-cloud complexity. With increasing complexity comes an even greater need for robust cybersecurity. When asked what percentage of their sensitive data is stored in the cloud, 46% of respondents in India said between 21 to 60%. Cyber attacks also present an ongoing risk to cloud applications and data. Respondents around the globe reported an increasing prevalence of attacks, with a quarter or 26% citing an increase in malware, 25% in ransomware and one-fifth, that is 19%, reporting seeing an increase in phishing or whaling. Now the challenge is how to protect sensitive data. When it comes to securing data in multi-cloud environments, IT professionals from India view encryption as a critical security control. 65% of respondents cited encryption and 56% stated key management as the security technologies they currently use to protect sensitive data in the cloud. Encryption should be a priority area for enterprises to focus on when it comes to securing data in the cloud. Additionally, it is encouraging to see signs of enterprises embracing zero trust and investing accordingly. Almost a third of respondents in India, say 31%, said they are already executing a zero trust strategy, 29% said that they are evaluating and planning one, and 20% said they are considering it. This is a positive result, but there is certainly still room to grow. The journey to the cloud is also becoming more complex. Businesses are still learning and adapting to the security challenges of operating in a multi-cloud ecosystem. It is important for organizations to constantly adapt to this rapidly changing environment and stay on top of the evolving trends of the industry. Let us now look into today's headlines in VAR India. Geo, Airtel and Vodafone Idea may buy Spectrum worth Rs 71,000 crores. The three private telecom operators Reliance Geo, Bharti Airtel and Vodafone Idea are expected to buy Spectrum worth Rs 71,000 crore in the upcoming auction. The Department of Telecom has issued a new order that will enable telecom operators to reduce Spectrum usage charges proportionally on buying fresh radio waves in the upcoming 5G auction. The government will auction about Rs 4.3 lakh crore worth of airwaves capable of offering 5th generation or 5G telecom services including ultra-high speed internet. Twitter board agrees Musk's $44 billion bid. Twitter's board has recommended that shareholders approve the proposed $44 billion sale of the company to billionaire and Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Twitter's board of directors said it unanimously recommends that you vote for the adoption of the merger agreement. Last week, during a virtual meeting with Twitter employees, Musk reiterated his desire to move forward with the acquisition. CBI arrests Sanjay Gupta in NSE co-location case. 
The Central Bureau of Investigation has arrested Sanjay Gupta, the managing director of OPG Securities, in connection with the NAC co-location scam. Gupta allegedly had huge undisclosed foreign transactions, hawala deals and cash payments for multi-crore property purchases. The scam is related to brokers who allegedly abuse the facility to make gains by getting early access to the stock market. The agency has already arrested Chitra Ramakrishna, former CEO and managing director of NAC, and Anand Subramanian, former group operating officer of the market. Carlyle Group acquires 24% stake in Airtel and Extra. Bharti Airtel said that CA Cloud Investments, an affiliate of the US-based Carlyle Group, has completed the acquisition of 24.04% stake in the Indian Telco's data center subsidiary and extra data. Airtel had announced the deal with Carlyle in 2020 to sell up to 25% of its stake in an extra data to the Carlyle Group for $235 million. Airtel continues to hold the remaining stake in the data center company. Apple to introduce SMS filter extension in India Apple is reportedly going to introduce filter extension for messages in 12 subcategories including finance, reminders, health, weather and more within transactions and promotions on iOS 16 only for the Indian users. This update will allow developers to incorporate these filters to classify non-personal messages into the subcategories. Apple's SMS filter is already available in India and Brazil for limited categories. Apple is also going to add support for backing up data over LTE or 4G network in iOS 16 for iPhone and iPad users. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Bar India News Magazine. You can download the Bar India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.